Oh, friends, welcome to Starry Hiller's Off Grid Homestead. Look, ah, ah, we got snow. Like, ah, this is incredible. So, oh, look, <laughs> they're, they're, they're waiting for me. Everybody's waiting for me this morning. I gotta go feed the chickens, and Mr. Hilder is shoveling. And wow, we've got a lot of stuff going on this morning. So I'm gonna head out and. I think Mr. Hilder said the poor meat bird was the only bird that was out this morning. Okay, so everybody's excited this morning when we get snow. Everybody's excited except except mom and dad. <laughs> so Mr. Hilder Mr. Hilder's already starting in on the on the shoveling and Oh, oh, oh Mr. Hilder. <laughs> so you gotta take this with a grain of salt. I'm shoveling snow with the shovel, so I'm officially off grid. This is for some of those those commenters that say you're not off grid if you um, like use a plow or you use a snow blower or something like that. Oh, so I just want to be funny this morning. Oh, he wants to be funny. He wants to be the funny. So he's doing it the the real off grid yeah, I'm way. Really off grid because I have a broken. Oh, handle. look at that. So that makes it even harder. Wow. So Mr. Mr. Hilder is trying to shovel his way. <laughs> To the chickens, look at them. Oh, they're like, they're trapped. Look at them. They're, they're all underneath that little, that little tarp area I made them. And, and oh, look at poor Mr. Rooster. He's the only one that can't go underneath the tarp. But he does have his area in the back. So as soon as Mr. Hilder gets over there, I've got, I've got their food and, and some fresh water for them. Oh. Look, what is, look at this dog. Look at Sprig. <laughs> What's, in there, Sprig? There. <laughs> What's in there, Sprig? Get him. What's in there, Sprig? Get him. Something's down there. Something's down there. Yeah, is there a rabbit down there? I don't think there's a rabbit down there, but there's something. <laughs> look at, oh, look at him. Honey, he's going, he's going in for the... <laughs> How'd you get yourself way down in? <laughs> oh, brother. See, on, 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 on our homestead... <laughs> All we need are dogs, some chickens, we got a cat, we got a husband. <laughs> Pure entertainment. <laughs> Pure. The main entertainer, sorry. <laughs> the main. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Spring, you are, you're gonna be the, the star of this video. <laughs> the chickens just don't know what to do sometimes with the snow. <laughs> and they're all following Mr. Hilter. <laughs> Oh, they're looking. They're looking for their food, which Starry still has. But uh, look, at, they're like they're like children. Oh, look at this one here. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna get them fed here. Hilder goes. <laughs> they go. <laughs> Mrs. Meatbird and Mr. Rooster. They're they're in love. We're gonna have to marry them off. I think maybe they are married. Cause you know, Mr. and Mrs. I call them. So they're officially married. We're still trying to figure out a good name for this rogue rooster over here because he's staying he he's staying he's not going anywhere and oh you know what friends you gotta watch when it comes to roosters Patera just put out a really awesome videos about roosters on the homestead and I love it you know I'm glad she did the the video because she talked about the purpose of the rooster it's right mr. rooster on the homestead and they serve a purpose. You remember when Mr. Rooster was really mean to me and he was attacking me. You know, a lot of people said, just put him in the stock pot. And I, I understand that. See how he comes by me? But he was serving a purpose. He was protecting his flock. I mean, what a beautiful thing for Mr. Rooster to be doing. And so I didn't, you know, I didn't take offense. I had to learn how to work around the rooster. And if you're going to have a farm or a homestead on or off grid, and you're going to choose to have roosters, just know that's, that's what their job is. And don't fault them for it. She did a beautiful job in the video discussing that. And she talked too about making sure that, it, you know, if you're gonna have animals, make sure they're spayed. A lot of problems with animals that aren't spayed. And, oh, see, look at they're finding this. I got potatoes in here today, too. I'm going to go give Mr. Rooster some. Yeah. Mr. Rooster, come here, honey. Come here, honey. There you go. Yeah. See, he only eats out of my hand now. Yeah, he used to like Mr. 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 Hilder was the only one he liked. Now he loves Starry. <laughs> Here, Mr. Rooster, I know. Those, those chickens are trying to take your food. 
Look at that. There you go. Now this little gal here was just going through the molt not too long ago, and I was feeding her a little extra because she looked really skinny. And there were times during the day, this one here, this, this tiny one, that she'd be up in the chicken coop. So that just didn't make any sense. And I think she just wasn't feeling well. So again, I just watched her and fed her extra, especially during the cold time. I think coconut oil really is good for your animals when it's super cold. It gives them a little bit extra good fat. I believe it's healing. It's got a lot of uh, antibacterial, antimicrobial uh, properties. And that's kind of what I did with Mr. Rooster too. Coconut oil was, here Mr. Rooster, you don't have to be over here away. There. Look at this. The two lovebirds. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're so cute together. And she was actually picking food right out of his, uh, out of his mouth. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Rooster, Mrs. Meatbird. Mr. and Mrs. Meatbird Rooster. <laughs> I don't know. What becomes, what, what do you, what, what do we call them? Mr. and Mrs. Rooster Meatbird. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mr. Hilder says I'm my own I'm my own entertainment. <laughs> I'm my own channel in my own head. <laughs> but look at how cute they are. They're adorable. <laughs>